Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to install SAB NZBD onto a Debian or Ubuntu server. So if you don't know what SAB NZBD is, it says it right there, so it's an open source binary newsreader written in Python. In other words, a method of downloading files that you would have to pay quite a lot of money for and getting them for a minimal to no cost. So I think that gives you a bit of a clue what it is. What I'll be showing you is installing SAB NZBD onto a Debian based server. So it could be something like a NAS set setup using well, using something like Open Media Vault, which is based on Debian Squeeze. That works absolutely fine for that. Probably more difficult if you're using FreeNAS, which is based on OpenBSD, but it gives you the idea of it anyway. So I've written a script to do a lot of the install. There's a couple of bits you will need to do yourself, so if you're using Debian you need to add contrib and non-free into the sources list and I'll be showing you that. If you're using an Ubuntu server, you need to comment out those two lines and uncomment, and uncomment that line there for adding the Ubuntu repository. Now you notice that I'm using an Ubuntu repository in Debian and while I know that's not necessarily a good idea, to be honest there's not a lot in sub NZBD, there's nothing that special that's going to rely solely on Debian, so it's okay to use the Ubuntu server. It's okay to use the Ubuntu repository. Right, so let's go on and show you. Right, so I've started the Debian server up, so I'll just log in as root, put the password in. Let's go and download the file from Debian Pastebin, so just type in wget. I've put a note of the file that you need in the description below. So five, seven, Zero. If you want to check out the comments that I've made in the file or do any editing on it, just type in nano, name the file, and there you are. You make any changes that you need to here. All right. Firstly, we'll make some changes on the sources.list file. So just type in nano etsy apt sources.list. And just type at the end here contrib and non free non free All right control x to close it yes we'll make the changes and write to that file All right now we'll go and run the script so sh then 157490 press enter Right, so that's added the repository and the and downloaded the sign-in key from Ubuntu Launchpad. Right now we'll install dependencies for sub NZBD. So yes. Right now it's installing sub NZBD and a couple of the themes. There's some more themes in the Launchpad repository. I guess you could have a look at it and find out. Right, notice it's it's installed but come up with a warning that the news grabber is not configured. Now, as I've written at the end there, you need to add your user details, host and port into the etsy default sub nzbd plus file. And after you've done that, reboot and log in via a web browser. Put a note down there, use ipconfig if you don't already know your system's IP address. Right, so let's go and edit that file. So nano etsy default and sub nzbd plus. Now run it as a user, now I don't want to run it as root, that wouldn't be a good idea. So I'll add, it, add the user that I configured earlier on during the Debian install. If you're using Open Media Vault, you have to manually add a user via the command line. Right, now config we can leave blank, because it would default to the home folder. Now, host to listen on. If you've only got one network card on your computer, the host will be 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. If you've got two or more network cards, you need to put the IP address of the card you want to use. The port number, well, anything between 9000 and 31000 will be absolutely fine. I'll go for 9555. That's that, so press Ctrl X, yes I want to save the changes, and we'll leave it at that file, so enter. Now we'll reboot. Right, now I type in the IP address of that virtual machine. 
you know, if you're doing it as a local install, you would use the IP address 127.0.0.1. I'm not, I'm logging onto a remote server, so it's 192.62.6 I'm using. All right. You notice I don't need to log in to the server, as the service for SabNZBD is already running. All right, so I choose my language, English. Now fill in details of your Usenet server provider. So the host for mine, so I'm using, I'm using the SSL EU Astra web.com only joined them recently they seem all right on the speed not particularly brilliant but all right bearing in mind my connection actually is pretty slow all right port 443 because i'm on ssl all right i'm allowed up to 20 connections but that's probably overkill for my connection so i'm just going up to 10. you have to check all these details from your usenet provider all right using ssl Go for test server, we know the connection is successful, so I go next. Right, I want to make it viewable to any PC on my network. Could be an idea to password protect it if I was going to if I was going to open remote access on the router. But I'm not going to, so I'll just leave this as blank. Alright, next. I'm not a member of any of those sites, so I'll ignore those and go next. Right now it's restarting the SabNZBD server and it gives you a couple of links to click on but you can actually just type in the IP address with the port number. And that's it. Let's just add an NZB file to show it working properly. So this is a file that I downloaded earlier. So Ubuntu version 11.10.nzb That is an ebook for Ubuntu 11.10 We'll just upload that, close it. I should also mention that you can do some other configurations here. Just a quick look through, so we've got a general, got folders you want to download to. There's a few other configuration changes you can make there, but uh, that's basically it. Uh, let's go back to the downloads. It's already completed. Now I could retrieve that file from the remote server using SSH. That's something I'll go into on a different video. So that concludes this video on how to get Sab NZBD working on a Debian server. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later.